And now it's time for this hour's news review. Tehran slams the joint statement by the UK, Germany and France on retaining sanctions on all exports of military equipment by Iran over its missile program. Iran's foreign ministry spokesman Nasser Kanani said the move is not constructive and Tehran reserves the right to respond in kind. Earlier, the three European countries said they will maintain the sanctions allegedly based on UN Security Council Resolution 2231. Well, the measures are due to expire in October based on the sunset provisions in the resolution. Elsewhere, in his remarks, Kanani reiterated using all available means to secure national rights with regard to peace for nuclear technology. He said indirect discussions are underway with parties to the 2015 nuclear deal. I'd like to invite my guests and uh, to uh, introduce my guests to this news review. Yusuf Azizi, international affairs expert out of uh, Washington, D.C., and Heinz Gartner, political science out of Vienna. Thank you both for being with us. Well, let's start it off in D.C. Uh, what do you make of this, Yusuf, that uh, the U.K., Germany, and France now are basically saying that they're going to continue their sanctions on the exports of uh, military equipment by Iran. Uh, it reminds me of 2020, October 2020, that uh, the United States under President Trump, uh, they wanted to extend the um, United Nations Security Council uh, Army embargo, the Convention on Military Embargo against Iran. And um, this is not the mean that the JCPOA would be killed uh, no one would like to do that. Both sides know that the available option is not very uh, important uh, than restoring the JCPOA. Uh, but on the other hand, I think um, uh, the Iranian would be uh, very cautious about uh, to see uh, October 2025, uh, which is the end date, the termination date of the this 20. Uh, 2231 United Nations Security Council resolution. So uh, perhaps Iranian would do everything to make sure that the deal is still alive uh, to reach that moment. And it is very important, significantly important for Iran uh, to make sure that the, uh, the whole United Nations Security Resolution against Iran would be terminated soon after the 10 years uh, after the JCPOA signed uh, in 2015. Uh, but on the other hand, um, Iran has its options. So Iranian um, knows that uh, if in any kind the European Union wanted to trigger the uh, snapback mechanism and kill the deal, there are many options for Iran, like uh, extending the enrichment over 90 percent, um, completely uh, come out of the MPT and limit the IE, IAEA's inspection, monitoring and verification against Iran nuclear program, and even go further and may, maybe uh, building a nuclear bomb. So uh, Iran also put all leverage on the table to show the uh, European Union that they need to keep their commitments under the deal. Okay, well, Heinz, what do you think? I mean, when we're talking about the beginning of uh the story I read dealing with uh, extended sanctions by the UK, Germany, and France. I mean, is this all about putting pressure on Iran due to the renewed uh, indirect nuclear talks with the parties that were involved before, or your assessment of what's going on? I think it should not come to a surprise uh, that the uh, E3 extend the uh, sanctions. So the sanctions will be only relieved in the framework of the GCPA, mm -hmm. and we cannot expect the Europeans uh, and uh, for the Americans, for that matter, to relieve sanctions which are not negotiated outside uh, of the GCPA. So the, that the sanctions are retained, the cause for it is not the EU statement. Uh, the cause is the failure of uh, the GCPOA. Of course, the original cause is that Trump left, uh, President Trump left the GCPOA in 2018, and uh, it goes without saying that he violated international law uh, because uh, he uh, violated also the uh, UN Resolution 2231. Uh, uh, however, having said uh, this, uh, there are, of course, Iran has options, but I do think Iran should not uh, retaliate here because it will not bring the GCPOA back 
uh, if uh, Iran uh, escalates the tension. So uh, Iran made some promises in the past that it uh, will not um, enrich Iranian over 60 percent. It was a pledge by Iran in November uh, 21. So if Iran wants to be credible, it should be abide by it. Also, Iran has self-imposed uh, 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 limitations of uh, the, its uh, missile range to 2,000 kilo kilometers. So Iran should not threaten to extend, extend it. It would not. Uh, uh, it would not threaten the European states because the Europeans are now building up a sky shield anyways. So why should an Iranian missile uh, threaten the, uh, the Europeans? And also the Iran could say, I would uh, maybe put in perspective uh, that Iran might uh, go back to the additional pro protocol if uh, some uh, Iranian assets are unfrozen somewhere. So positive incentives for Iran would, much, much, would work much better than uh, negative uh, threats with Well, well let me uh, just jump in here, Heinz. Let me just jump in here and ask you something. Um, why should Iran continue to uh, basically um, uh, take, one would say, actually, uh, take the higher ground? Because if we look at this, this is what has been happening ever since Trump and the U.S. government uh, left the original deal. Of course, Iran did not leave the deal um, right away, continued to abide um, by many aspects of the deal, uh, even going above what it was uh, required to do. So the question then would be, um, because you said that Iran shouldn't exacerbate the situation, uh, why is it that Iran should continually take the higher ground when the Western countries have continued to show uh, their aggression towards, towards Iran, whether we're talking about the United States or we're talking about the Europeans, who never implemented their side of the deal either, the financial transactions and trying to come up with an alternative to SWIFT. So if you could answer that question, I'd appreciate it, Heinz. Uh, yes, uh, you're asking why Iran should take the higher ground. No, uh, I, well, first. I'm asking why why it is expected that yeah. they do, they yeah, should. Yeah, yeah, I, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, first of all, the philosophical answer would be because Iran should not go down to the ground of the uh, uh, countries which left the GCPA and violated the UN uh, res resolution. And second reason is Iran cannot win uh, by escalating, so it cannot threaten uh, the West. And if Iran, uranium to up to 90 percent, which of course violates its own uh, uh, promise. Then, uh, of course, Israel will cry foul and try to get uh, the U.S. in uh, to support any military operation. Okay. That would help. All right. Yeah, okay. Right. Well, Yusuf, your take on this, because, uh, again, it's, it, it seems like there is a higher standard for Iran than for other countries. I mean, your assessment of this, Yusuf. So I believe that JCPOA is not worth it for Iran anymore if United States and European Union don't want to guarantee the benefits that Iran, the uh, legitimate benefits that Iran would receive if the deal revived. So we can see that the United States uh, said, even Biden administration, that we cannot guarantee anymore, not only for the next and future administration, but even for the Biden administration to abide by the commitment of the deal. So uh, the, the only things that uh, for Iran, uh, there, there is a political motivation that Iran keep the deal and wanted to deal to be live again uh, is to reach to the October 2025, that the termination of the United Nations resolution sanction, all of the United Nations resolution sanction against Iran. And within that, I, 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 I mean that uh, Iran never threat the West. Iran don't want to threat the West. The, uh, the, the, the point here is that Iran uh, was in and still has been in the deal with the West and the, the countries and the parties that uh, they don't commit, uh, they don't abide by the commitment is the United States and unfortunately the European Union followed by uh, followed the United States policy. So here uh, there, there is an option for Iran. If Iran don't want to put some leverage on the table, don't want to have some strategic card and build some strategic card to make and uh, to, to force the Western countries, especially the European Union, 
that uh, you have to still be in the deal and commit to your uh, to your commitment. But uh, on the other hand, uh, as we know, the, the the JCPOA after the United States left that is just um, still live with, with the political decision by the European Union and Iran, because both parties know that the uh, alternative is is much more dangerous. So. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm quite sure that, that what's happening in the next few months uh, would not be going to kill the deal. And uh, still we have the deal for the next few hours, uh, for the next few years. All right. Well, thank you both for being with me. Uh, Yusuf Aziz, the international affairs expert out of Washington, D.C., Heinz Gartner, political science out of uh, Vienna. And thank you, viewers, for staying with us on another News Review.